Hello. Hello to everyone that uh, comes and watches this video. It's basically the guide as to some of the 3D software animation that's out there on the internet that you can download for free. It's not meant to be a tutorial and it's going to be quick because it's quite late in the morning so I just really want to get this out to YouTube and maybe help some of you people that are thinking of perhaps taking this up as a hobby. Here's, here's one that I've created previously. In the words of the blue people experts. It's going to take its time doing it, no doubt. So please whistle and talk amongst yourselves for a moment while this actually gets it going. Hopefully, my laptop's not going to get any slow all the way through. What I did was I actually created a painting a few, a few years back, and I, I sort of felt that I would put it on the background here. And I started building up some of these objects in, in front of the painting just to, to try and recreate a live image of the painting. Um, if I just scroll it down a bit, you can see there was a plane, flat plane, with the, with the photograph on it. I'll just turn this around. And you can see what you do is you create the objects, create the grass, create the lake, create the mountains, and basically position your camera to hopefully get a good view so that it looks like you've actually got a scene there. I'm just going to come out of here for a moment and go back in. I have a specific reason for this which I won't tell you yet. But basically I don't know how to refresh everything from you. But, well, this is the first screen you get when you go into Blender. I'm actually going to delete that. And I'm going to add a different actually add a, a sphere. Do if you go to edit mode uh, and I come down here, these are the options you can I'll subdivide that, and you notice I now get more points on the actual surface. So I'll, I'll subdivide that. The reason being that if I go to edit mode again, I can click on these points and actually start altering my object shape. Now, at this point, if I'd actually been creating a Star Trek movie. I've been creating the USS Enterprise. I'm just, just doing this so you can see the sort of things you can do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually render that to create the object. I'll export the object. Into saved objects. We'll just call it, let's call it second. So we export that object. Now the reason for that is there's another piece of free software out there on the internet which is called Bryce 7. And what you can do it's great, Bryce 7 is great for creating landscapes, but it's not so good for messing about creating objects. So one of the things I find is if I create the objects in Blender, and then I can actually import those into Bryce. Let's call it a second object. It uh, transfers the object group of uh, data you've got there plus the materials. And I'll just scale that down a little bit. And if I was to render that, you can see I can now render the object I've created in Blender back into this free software device. I'm going to do my usual trick of going out, coming back in, <coughs> just want to show you very quickly, if I was to do a of water planes, add a water plane, uh, it's a bit of terrain. Here you can see I've had a tree. And so here you get a preview of the sort of thing that you create. Um, 
Get some materials if you want to change some materials. Uh, effects, glass, change something there. Patterns. Just cut it out like that. Just think of anything like that. Like that. Uh, render. It should actually then render that particular image. Just the materials that we've set there. So you can very quickly create very nice landscapes again with the objects in the scene that you've created. I believe that Bryce actually is under this parent company called Daz. Again, it's a free piece of software you can download, but I think it's only free for about 30 days and then it becomes limited in what it offers you. But with Daz, you can again very quickly do some animation. Um, there's a thing called Quick Start, which creates a, basically a female human form. I haven't actually used this as such yet, I've just had a quick peruse of it to see what it does. If you pose on it, you should be able to you should be able to move various parts of the body around. Again, it has the option that you can send the information to Bryce. So whatever you create here, you can actually send to the middle of your landscapes in Bryce. I'll just come over here, see the changes made. There's another piece of software that I use called Audacity. Sorry about the noises it makes when you click on it. Again, this is free, and this is where I create the music for my scenes. So if I just, let's just open it. Um, here's some sounds I've created. So if I go to play, you can actually do a recording. So if you had a microphone, you actually record on the microphone. But if you just play the what you've created. So now that you've all gone deaf, it's, uh, as you can see, this is where you create the sounds for your movies. One other thing that you might find of interest that's free, you use Google Chrome now. There is a, a website which allows you to create a free website of your own. Uh, when I was using it, you could actually create two websites. If you wanted more, you had to pay for the privilege. Here it is. We believe create a free website. Uh, it does have a, a demo that's well worth watching. It tells you very quickly how to create the, uh, websites and what it's about. Um, I created two. The first one was just a sort of demo website to see what it was capable of and the second one was a bit of a more realistic website. I'll just go on and show you. You obviously can create what you want here. You can put your own pictures in. Um, it's just basically a dream blog. Describe your dreams here, and there's some information about anxiety and OCD if you're interested in that. Anxiety, some drop down links there. And coping, some of the strategies for coping with anxiety. And you can even put links, so if you go to the OCD channel, you'll such as various links where you might get help. The other thing about if you're creating this website is you are allowed to put adverts in here. So if anyone watching was to come along and actually click on these adverts here, then the person who's created the website will probably get some money from that. Uh, I'm not giving them any hints or anything there. No, I'll just come over that. And the last thing I really want to talk about is some of the tutorials. So if you go to YouTube, Go to 
my music channel on YouTube. See, I'm doing a bit of advertising here while I'm actually telling you all this. If you want to hear me play the guitar, if you want to hear me tell a joke, this is the channel to come to. And if I was to put them there. One of these days I'll get a keyboard that works. Uh, you can see you've got all these various tutorials that you started get you up and running. Uh, it's well worth looking at those if you decide to download the software. Again, it's the same thing in Blender. Very good tutorials. So my laptop responds again. I was decided it's getting a bit late. Wants to go to sleep for 10 minutes. So there's enough information around on YouTube to actually get you doing these creations. I mean, this is what I've worked on, so. Um, it does help. So hopefully, hopefully, I'm not sure when you found this of interest. If it might not be what you want to do, but hopefully, if you're thinking of actually creating some software, then creating some animations, and this is where to look. So hopefully, you, you have found some of this helpful. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.